Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to add some curb appeal to our front door. We're going to add a kick plate or a toe kick or whatever you want to call that thing. Uh, the little metal thing. It's, uh, it's a piece we bought at Home Depot for about $17, $16 and some odd change. And we're really hoping it uh, spices up the front door. We recently painted our front door and it uh, hasn't been painted in years. Uh, looked looked a little raggedy. Um, it had some little dividers in the window. Uh, we pulled out the dividers. They were kind of broken. Pieces were broken off. It, it just didn't look good. So, so we broke all that out the rest of the way to make it a regular window. Painted around it. Painted it white. Um, put some new hardware on there. And now we're going to add the kick plate. Let's get to it. Okay, I went ahead and marked both sides of the door. I need to go in about three quarters. It's about 35 and a half. And this is 34. My, uh, my toe kick, or uh, kick plate, is 34. So that makes up my inch and a half difference by going in three quarters at each side. Now we got to do it for up and down. All right, we can see here that there is some damage already on this door. Not a lot, it's not too bad, but we're gonna see how it covers that up. Hey everybody, I just wanna show you um, the hardest part about installing this entire kick plate is actually just getting it lined up on the door. Uh, I had to do a lot of measuring uh, a lot of testing. Uh, I highly suggest you use tape. I used some painters tape I had laying around. I taped it up there a couple times, did all kinds of tests. Uh, finally got it to where I wanted it. Mine ended up being 35 and a half inches long across the front, the, the bottom of the door. Uh, the panel, kick panel, was 34 inches. So I ended up taking about three quarters off each end to get it to line up evenly across the front. I did the same thing for the top and bottom too. I think I ended up going up to uh, about eight and, uh, eight and a three eighths or eight and, it was a little more than a quarter, but anyway, uh, it lined up uh, really good, top up, down, vertically, and side to side. But that's the hardest part. That is what takes the longest time, is doing everything, getting everything lined up uh, to fit on your door properly because you don't want to put it up there and have it be crooked or or just you know look bad so you, you take your time it's pretty easy and, and just get it lined up also I used my drill bits to mark holes and then I just drilled them out with the pin um, tape on there so that just made it much easier that way I, I made sure it didn't move around and I didn't mess it up really fast with these new drill bits. Now it says to start in the middle, which makes sense. I want to see if I can get some of this peeled off before I put the screws in. So I don't have little pieces of plastic hanging around the screw holes when I'm done.
Well, everybody, that's what it looks like installed from the outside. I think it looks pretty good. Not too bad. It's pretty straight. Um, overall, looks really good with the hardware. Door looks much better than it ever did <laughs> since I've lived here anyway. So that's good. Um, as a note, only a two cut only a two scratch scrape job so not too bad um, easily done for any level skill of a do-it-yourselfer so uh, give it a shot uh, works for me really like it now I can uh, my door will be protected uh, when us and the kids are entering it Hey guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Again, a pretty easy job. Any average do-it-yourselfer could do this. Um, you know, the hardest thing is getting it lined up, getting the uh, equal measurements on each side, but just take your time. It's pretty easy. So that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.